The final team we have to take a look at for Spring Major Team Spotlights is a team that really did not even play in the EU RLCS until, you know, Winter Regional 3. They were awful in fall, and they made a crazy roster change at the end of fall and picked up two players that could not even play until the spring split, or so we thought. That is Team Liquid, Atau, Oski, and Akronik. How they made the Spring Major? Let's find out. In the winter split, two of their players, Atau and Oski, as, the, as we mentioned before, were 14 at the time of their signing, meaning that they could not compete in RLCS events because the age limit is 15. You get to Winter Regional 3, it's very close to their birthday. They get special permission from Epic and Psionics that the 14 year olds were allowed to play in the open qualifiers and the close qualifier because the main event would take place after their birthdays. During this close qualifier, they, they managed to make, you know, the top 24 essentially, so they made it to the close qualifier. They go 0-3 in the Swiss, losing 2-3 to Heroic, 1-3 to Luminosity, and 1-3 to Wild. Which is pretty wild. An astute observation has led to laughter. <laughs> we are laughing. This team, on paper, you know, a lot of people had high hopes for them. I would have wanted to, them to make the main event, I would say, back in Winter Regional 3, just to kind of see what we were rocking with for them back then. But alas, did not happen. Left some question marks heading into the spring split, how they're going to do. And I'd say they surpassed expectations, at least for me. During the spring split, winter spring regional one, they take home a seventh, eighth, 180 points. Not their best result, but it's definitely better than not making the main event. And then you get to spring regional two, and this is their big event, their pop off event. They take home a second place. They perfect sweep moist in the upper bracket to secure a top three. Absolute crazy series. Amazing performance from them on offense and on defense to not allow moist one of the craziest offensive teams in all of Europe to score zero goals. At this point, Liquid are sitting pretty for an opportunity to go to the Spring Major, and in Spring Regional 3, they take home a fourth place, losing to BDS again in the lower semifinals. Meeting them in the lower bracket is tough, but overall, they finished the split with 780 points, heading into the Spring Major. They are the third place team for Europe, and they are slated to play Falcons in the first round. So overall, really great split for Atau, Oski, and Akronik. Very happy for them that they, you know, managed to pull it back. They silenced any doubters that there were and have a lot of fans and a lot of people backing them at the Spring Major for sure. So let's take a look at the stats. The stats for these guys are a little funky because, like I said, they only had one regional, you know, chance essentially in winter and they didn't make main event. So these stats, all three that I have there are just all the same thing. So you take a look at a chronic, the splits there, less the goals, more assists, same amount of saves and a higher rating. Overall, a chronic has been a pretty consistent player for this team, has improved each and every regional during this split. I think this is he's at a good spot with this roster essentially he's got 0.88 goals in spring regional three there are moments when a chronic can pop off and we all know that oh it's Miller just flips away from the ball chronic flip what say oh, oh my goodness mind-blowing like this guy is gonna be a rock star and so far on liquid this split he has proved to be that up next is a tau a toe a tau i'm not really sure some casters say a toe, I say it, whatever, it doesn't matter, guys. Overall, he was the highest performing player for Liquid at the Winter Regional 3 close qualifier. 0.962 rating. Overall, that showed a lot of like promise early on. Had a lot of saves. You're going to see a trend here with this team that the assists per game and are a little bit lower than most teams, but that's because these all three of these players are very, very mechanical. And a lot of solo plays happen. A lot of flip resets, a lot of air dribbles. A lot of, you know, beats on, like, pre-jumps and clears. So, assists, you know, half an assist per game for the for this team, that's, that's not a bad stat. Overall, really well-rounded split there for a Tau, stat-wise. Next up, we got Oski. Oski was the worst performer at the close qualifier. Did not do very well at all. And I think his, you know, rise in performance, especially in the last two regionals, is a big factor in Liquid's success. In Spring Regional 2, 1.09... 1.009 rating, 0.68 goals, 0.61 assists, 1.5 saves. Overall, Oski stepping up his game in Regional 2 and Regional 3 propelled Liquid forward. Really great performance from him overall. I'm very excited for 
him to have a chance to perform on land at the spring major in the London Copper Box. The crowd's going to erupt for all three of these players because they're all young prodigies that are we've just been waiting to fully break through, and this is a chance for them to do that. But with that being said, we need to talk about their realistic expectations. Round one, they face Falcons, and that is not a matchup you want to have, I think, on your first for your first one on land. It's tough. It's going to be very tough for them, especially I'm assuming Falcons are going to be at full strength there. Ahmad, TRK, and Ocalid. So I do have them losing, and you know they'll go to lower round, and I think at that point they would have to play power. And I think they can beat power OCE team. They have a good shot of that. They're a lot faster, more mechanical than them. And then in round three, the facing Furia. And that's another one. The same thing as Carmine. Furia, I feel like, are a great land team. They feed off each other's energy. And so I have Liquid going out ninth, 12th in their land debut. That's not bad for them. I mean, they'd pr probably prefer to go farther like most teams would. But, you know, as a first land performance, Moist was really young or Team Queso was really young at the Winter Major, maybe Liquid can channel some of their energy, some of their potential there, and show up as the youngest team at this land. If they're popping off, they could win this tournament, right? Like, if they're truly popping off, all three players clicking, there's nothing that the, this team can't do so long as they're, they're all communicating well. But the chance of that happening, I feel like, is a little low compared to other teams that have that huge potential. I have them maybe fifth, sixth, is like their peak I, I would rate carmine a little bit higher than them in terms of like their ceiling but i don't know man liquid they're a great team to watch out for especially heading into the 2022 2023 season but this team come next year is going to be a problem for a lot of the european and international competition if you guys are excited for them at the spring major leave a like on this video hopefully you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about liquid and their journey through the rlcs spring split and look forward to them playing at the Spring Major. With that all being said, see you guys later. Peace.